Oh, what's up, scrappers? So in this video, what we're going to do, we're going to do a teardown on a it's a four-way cassette player apparently, but it's only got two. But that's a four-way one, so I guess you can take these panels out, put other cassette um, drives in there of some sort. Um, yes, old and vintage. It might be worth a little bit of money, but to be honest, I don't want to deal with it. Um, I've tried selling so many stuff like this, and that's just a nightmare. Um, the weight of it doesn't really, it's not economical to um, ship it out or anything. So, uh, yeah, just going to scrap it out, see what it's worth. Um, yeah, like I said, it's got a hell of a weight to it. So, even if you just took it to the scrapyard, how it is, it's still value. It's going to have a little bit of value. Um, I don't know what's inside it. Uh, I can see some extruded aluminium through the vents. So yeah, we're going to tear it down and uh, see what it's worth. But I thought what I'll do first is um, just weigh it as it is. So if you're going to take this to the scrapyard, how it is. See, so it's worth uh, 10 kilos. So at 12 pence a kilo, okay, you get £1.23. So... You're not going to pay off the mortgage, but, you know, still a good bit of weight. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to tear this down and uh, we'll see what it's worth. So, uh, just, yeah, taking the case off and basically this is what it looked like on the inside. So you've got plenty of um, cable here, so it's all a single cable, which is more value. Um, nice chunky bit of extruded aluminium there. We've got a motor there. We've got... I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't know what all that is. So, um, yeah, I'll take this apart. It's empty underneath these. So it is, so you take them off, put another cassette drive in there. But, look, yeah, so it is cassette player, so it just goes up to there. Um, yeah, so it's not a massive amount of value in there, but plenty of cable to uh, add to the pile. Right, get tearing us down. Right guys, so um, I've done the uh, tear down on the cassette player and this was all the steel that was left over. So um, duh, 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 duh. at 12p, 12 pence a kilo, the steel was now worth 89 pence. So all of that is clean steel. You got this bit here where the um, Cassettes go into okay. There's a motor there, uh, a couple of tiny little boards, but for the time it takes to whip them out, it's totally and utterly not worth it. So leave that how it is. So it's 89 pence for the steel, as it is. Oh. And then we've got the cable. So. Uh, so yeah, we've got quite a bit of cable, so I um, don't know if we can see it. There we go, so I chucked it all in a bucket. So um, what we'll do, I was just going to go everywhere. So if we do that, tar that. So it's all um, the good thin cables, the singles. So if we uh, chuck that all in there, like so. And the cable at the moment, or the last time I went, was £1.88 a kilo. So that's 43 pence for all that cable. So, um, yeah, not actually worth that much. It's quite a bit there. Um, we've got a bit of extruded aluminium, so that's worth 95 pence. £95, lovely. Uh, 95 pence a kilo so that lump of um, extruded aluminium is just worth um, what I said was 19 yeah 19 pence uh, there's a couple of low grade boards which come off so if we chuck them on so uh, yeah got this on here so usually on the newer stuff these are really small that's a power amplifier whatever that means so it's um, the bit what sticks to the extruded aluminium. So usually you get like four or five, well, it depends how big the aluminium is. But um, yeah, so uh, look at the size of that. So that's a nice lump. 
Um, a couple of bits there. So I'm doing this as 15 pence a kilo. So it's worth five pence if I uh, take it like that. My scrapyard gives me 15 pence a kilo, but what I'm actually doing at the moment is um, taking my board to an actual board buyer. So I'm hoping to get a lot more than 15 pence. Well, not a lot more, but get more for my um, low grade boards. So um, that's something I'm doing in a couple of days time. So hopefully my board should be worth a lot more. And then we got these uh, two motors. So I'm just going to round it off. Um, that's going to be classed as a low grade motor, really, for the amount of uh, copper that's in there. This one's a slightly higher grade, but to be honest, they're just going to chuck it in with um, low grade. So um, gonna, so I'm going to round it off and say 42 pence um, a kilo for that. So. Um, so what's that worth? 84 pence for the motors. So um, I'm going to leave these ones as they are because they're a nightmare to get to get that out of there because there's no welds on there or nothing. It's not like the uh, transformers. So um, yeah, I'm not even going to bother with them. So yeah, in um, as it was. So if I was going to take it to the scrapyard as it was, it was worth one pound twenty-three. Now I've taken it all apart. That's now worth £2.40, so I've made £1.20 for 10 minutes work, really. So, not really worth doing, to be honest. Um, let's say if I add more aluminium in there, maybe, but again, you get a little bit more value if you're going to take that motor apart, but the time you put into taking that motor apart, you're not actually going to make that much on the other. So it's worth two pound forty after I took it apart. Um, in Europe, that's two euros sixty eight cents. Uh, America, three dollars seventeen cents. Australia, four dollars seven cents. In Canada, three dollars ninety six cents. So it took me it took me about ten minutes to take it apart. So I've worked it out doing about about six an hour. So if you can do six of them an hour you can make £14.40 by tearing them down but obviously they're worth money as they are without putting any time in so yeah so it's worth £14.40 an hour um, Europe 16 euros 7 cents America 19 dollars 1 cents Australia 24 dollars 42 cents and Canada 23 dollars and 79 cents so um, yeah, like I was saying about the um, boards, this is what I've actually been doing at the moment. Is um, I'm going to be going to my going to a board place. It's a 40 minute drive away, so it's a little bit of a journey. But what I've done is actually sorted everything out. So in here we have a bag of mobile phones, the hole. Um, in here I have a bag of disc drives, disc drive boards I mean um, in these three boxes here one, two and three are all motherboards so we've got loads and loads of motherboards so um, yeah so I phoned them up to try and get a price so I had an idea and any of the boards motherboards which are before 2006 are worth about six pounds a kilo so um, two of these boxes are pre-2006. Uh, this box, I think, it's one of them anyway, I think it's that one, is, um, so that's more recent. So um, that's only worth, I think he said £2.70 a kilo. So um, still worth good money. Uh, slot cards, so I've removed all the um, metal brackets. So I've got a nice big bag of slot cards. Good bit of weight there. Um... That was the mobile phones. These are all hard drive boards. So I've got a bag of hard drive boards I'll be taking. Um, in here, I've just got some of the RAM. So um, a lot of the RAM, so if it's a gig or higher, I tend to sell online. So these are all my lower grade ones. Uh, CPUs in there, just the um, pinless ones. Uh, what else? 
go. So these are all phone jack plugs. So they've got the gold on there. I don't want the hassle of um, trying to mess around getting the gold out. So I'm going to take that. It's a good sized box, uh, good sized bag as well. So um, also the VGA cables. So I've got a load of that. So that's a proper heavy um, bag of that. So um, again, I don't want to be doing spending so much time trying to whip them pins apart it's just not worth my time so I'm just gonna see if they buy them I forgot to ask them when I was on the phone this is all my low-grade boards so um, oh, it's a bit awkward I still got a camera on the air tripod so I've got a big box there another big box there and then if we come over this way do, 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 do. And this is all my mid-grade boards, so I've got a big box of mid-grade boards, another big box under there somewhere, and if you can see it properly, so it's under there, and in there is my telecom boards. So, um, yeah, like I said, I was um, depopulating all my boards before, so uh, now I thought, just recently I thought, you know what, I'm going to stockpile them. Whipped them all down to uh, AWA, just north of London, and uh, yeah, sell them that way. It's just not worth, in my mind, depopulating them anymore. I get all the um, components, but to be honest, was I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world, but in London we're getting a lot of acid attacks, and they're making it hard now to buy the acids. So if you want to buy... Um, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, you know, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare, so, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to get into um, gold recovery the acid way anymore, it's just not worth the hassle, so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, so, uh, anyway, yeah, I've been babbling along, and hopefully, guys, this um, video will help you out, and, uh, like always, keep scrapping.